Hey everyone, time for another Blu-ray unboxing, and this time we have a rather unique one. Uh, this is the Gumby movie on Blu-ray and DVD, as you can see here. Um, and it comes in this uh, rather unique Gumby case. Now, I don't really like, you know, special cases like this too much. I just rather prefer having you know, all my Blu-rays and DVDs in just regular cases so they don't kind of, you know, they don't look out of place on my shelf or, or anything like that or you don't have to kind of put them in any special place. Um, so this is, it's uh, one of the, the few, very few titles that I'm going to have in my collection that has, you know, kind of a weird case. And um, the reason I have it in this weird case, of course, is because they're, this is the only option. There is no option to buy this movie, at least as far as I'm aware, but I've done, you know, a good amount of research and could not find anything um, about, you know, being able to get this movie in a regular style Blu-ray case. So this is just how they decided to release this one. It's in a special, you know, green Gumby head style of case. So there's not a whole lot you can do about that. If you want this movie and you want a regular case, you're out of luck because this is the only way that they are selling it. Um, so so aside from not having the option to get a regular case for this, um, this is a cool release and I've been looking forward to this because this was one of, you know, this was one of my favorite movies. Certainly one of the kind of more weird movies that I watched when I was a kid. So this is cool to have on Blu-ray. And I do have the older DVD release as well. I don't have it with me so I can't compare it in this video, but that one was a uh, director's cut version. Now this version, I believe they have all the uh, original scenes, you know, right back in the movie, just like they did for the original VHS release. So that that's good because I like I like it. I prefer having it that way. So anyway, here is the Gumby case, and uh, it it feels like. Uh, kind of thin plastic so it's not like super thick or anything it's kind of like it feels like the same consistency as a regular blu-ray case to be honest so it's nothing it's not like super hard plastic or anything it's it's kind of thin um, but anyway here is the bottom it just has the barcode there and then on the back it does have some actual information about what's included so it has a few thumbnails has a description if you want to read that definitely pause it now, bonus features, it has photo gallery and behind the scenes, so really not too much. Um, so it doesn't have any deleted scenes or anything, I guess, because they are um, included, you know, all the original scenes, I guess, are in the actual movie now, rather than being a director's cut. Because I know in the director's cut DVD version, actually, they included a lot of deleted scenes, and they included all the ones that they deleted for, you know, the director's cut, but... Anyway, you can see the runtime is approximately 90 minutes, excluding bonus content. So 90 minutes is the original runtime that this movie was back in the day. So that is pretty cool. Now, and the other thing I don't reason I don't like these kind of special cases is because typically when you open up, open them up, you're going to see how they store the discs, and usually it is in a way that is inferior to how they would be stored if it was just a regular case. And when I kind of shake this. Can kind of hear stuff moving around like possibly the discs maybe they're out of place in there I don't know so that's a little bit you know something I don't really like about having these specially designed cases even though they do they they do look cool I I won't uh, lie about that but uh, I prefer just a regular regular DVD or blu-ray case so but it is what it is and of course if uh, what I have inside is damaged then it will simply just get returned back to Amazon, which is where I bought it. And by the way, I have not seen this in any stores. I haven't seen it in Walmart or Target or Best Buy or anything. I looked for it when it was originally released, um, the date it was supposed to be originally released, and I just never saw it in any stores, so I never picked it up until now. Um, so I picked it up on Amazon for $15. Oh, and this is kind of neat. You open this up, and it does have some more artwork inside here. That's that's pretty cool. Picture of Gumby and the band. Uh, so that's kind of neat that they included that. Um, and then as for this, you can see kind of how this opens, I guess. And on the back it has a little bit of information about N Circle and some of the other people who produced this movie, I guess. 
Um, so yeah, how do I open this case? It looks like it has two hinges on the bottom, so I'm guessing you just open it right from the top. Um, and already I, I am a bit disappointed because I can see discs floating around inside of here. Um, so here, this is that, here's the inside of the case and we got some paper covering. And uh, oh, let's see what we got, a floating disc. And uh, let's see which one this is. This is the DVD, which is bad because the DVDs always tend to get scratched first. Um, but here is the artwork on the DVD, which is actually quite nice. I enjoy that. That looks very nice. That's the uh, that's one of the Gumby concert scenes in the movie where it has all the people. That's that's pretty cool. Now let's take a look at the back, and I fortunately do not see any scratches so that is very good that means I am gonna get to keep this but uh, let's see let's see this is just a very flimsy green uh, paper with well I guess it, it does snap pretty nice onto this so you know it just came loose in shipping but so I guess when it's on on my shelf it'll be okay but just this thin paper that's what they have for you know, for a case, especially if this is given to like a little kid or something, that is not a very good way to store movies at all. So definitely this is, this is a reason why I really just prefer a regular style, you know, Blu-ray case. So that is pretty unfortunate. Um, but let's, and then it's a little hard to get the Blu-ray out. But anyways, here is the look at the Blu-ray. And this also has nice artwork on this disc as well. This is the, uh, looks like it's the scene where uh, they're at the uh, the cafe and having uh, having Sundays and all that. Or uh, whatever it is. Coffee, I don't know. Uh, snacks and stuff. But anyways, here is a look at the artwork. Runtime approximately 90 minutes, of course, again. And then the Blu-ray. So that is nice. So snapping it on there was a little bit of, I don't know, it takes a little bit of effort to snap it in and I always got to try to be careful not to damage the discs. Um, so anyways, just to kind of conclude, this is the packaging that holds the DVD and the Blu-ray and I, I am not impressed by that one bit because it's, you know, it's just super flimsy paper plastic it, or paper packaging and it, and it is like a kind of laminated things so you know it's it, it'll it'll be hard to kind of tear or anything which is good but a regular blu-ray case would have been just perfect and they had to do it this way so i i don't know that's it, that baffles me i wish they would have just done a regular blu-ray case but anyways um they did not so so we'll close this up and uh put it back in the original packaging here so and now just to compare it to an actual regular blu-ray case i have my king of the hill season 13 here so you can see what the difference is and you can see on the bottom blu-ray case is a little bit wider so if you're going to slide this onto the shelf like this um well you're going to have if you were going to slide it on the shelf it's going to basically slide in like that because this part comes out a little ways so it'll slide in like that and it will stick out a little bit, um, you know, behind your regular Blu-ray cases. So just a little bit, and it is also a little bit taller as well. Um, if I ever, you know, end up to the point where I have, a, you know, my own dedicated room or something someday where I can just, you know, have one dedicated room for all my movies and my media and stuff, this will probably just go on display, and it'll look cool as a display item for sure. But, you know, again, would rather prefer a regular Blu-ray case. Uh, but anyway, it is what it is. And it is really cool to have the Gumby movie on Blu-ray, finally. Something I never really expected would ever happen, so that's kind of cool. Um, so anyways, that's about I have all I have to say for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.